Today, I fully intend on cutting the rest of the wood to finish the second floor. I guess I should get an actual cover for this at some point. I need 42 more wood strips, 10 feet long, 3 meters, roughly an inch wide, inch and a half that way, and that will get me up to here. 42. So that would be like one board, like a, like a two by four, but not four. Instead of four, it'd be like 42 inches. So an almost four, so basically like almost the size of a piece of plywood. One board. I mean, I'm not gonna cut it all as one board, but that's, that's the size I need to fill. Now me and all my crap, boots, water, little chainsaw tools, chainsaw, okay. We'll do it. I'm a little bit short on oil, but I should have enough today. Yeah, sure, but don't run out. Right. Again. All right. Oh, good enough. All right, a few hours from now, the tide's gonna be up like 20 centimeters. Be able to get out easy. A mostly cut up tree over there and one over there. I know they both have some stuff left on them. That one has more termite damage, but I think it has. Let's go look at it. Yeah, this guy right here. I got a few decent boards off it last week. And there's this termite damage in the middle. I can get at least a few. I cut that off. If there is also this section up here. Not sure if the termites got up into there. And then there's also this tree right here, which is not very big. It fell down on its own, pulled its own roots right out of the ground. So it didn't break. That means it might not have termites in it. If it doesn't, yeah, this might be decent to cut. Yeah, it's really not that not that big a log. All right, I got the top of a tree up here. Termites did not get this high, so there's some cracks in there, but no termites. Huh. Just, oh, well, there's a nice straight section. That actually doesn't look too bad. All right, we're going for the little one that hopefully has no termite damage. 
They got ripped out by its roots, presumably by the wind. Uh, just ran out of gas. I got three good boards. Uh, that one's halfway cut off. That's the last one I'll be able to get off there. Uh, probably just need to fill this up one more time. I'll just take it back to the boat, fill it up, bring it back. Uh, I just got back with my chainsaw to realize I don't think I need it anymore. So, well, at least not today. So between these three boards, oh, I should finish that one. Yeah, I'll finish, that, I'll finish cutting that one over there. But between these three and that one over there, I should be able to get 30 strips of wood. I only need 12 more after that. And I was, I was walking in here with my chainsaw, stepping over boards I'd previously left behind. I realized, like, you know, there's some, there's some termite damage down this section here, but the whole middle is uh, totally good on this one. And this one is mostly good too. You know, I'll have to, I'll have to trim off some of this side because it's got some damage, but you know, I can get a bunch of boards out of that and out of those. So I didn't take these and use them as full boards, but now that I just need strips, you know, I can just skip wherever there's some damage. And this will be more than more than 12 boards worth. Another ridiculous thing. So that tree I'm, I'm cutting over there, I think it's still alive. Like it's it's on the ground and it's all you know smashed up, but it's still got roots in the ground. And when I cut the boards off, I went to pick them up. Wow, they were heavy. Holy cow. <laughs> really, really heavy. As in. Even though this fell down, yeah, those are, man, those are heavy. Yeah, it fell down almost a year ago. <laughs> so I was thinking it was going to be a little bit dried out, but yeah, it's totally still wet. So the boards I'm cutting today are going to take a while to dry, which is super annoying. Hello. These ones over here with, you know, the little termite damage spots. They're, they're super light. I mean, they're totally dry. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll start, I'll start using these and when I run out, I'll start using those.
but they're gonna have to dry for a while. All right, let me just go finish cutting that last board off that I'm already halfway through and then start carrying. Ah, yes, carry. Folks, only about a quarter mile away, so ah, somewhere around two miles carrying, two miles of return trips. I did break my pinky toe a week ago. However, as long as I don't go above a certain speed, it seems to be all right. It's hardest to get it in and out of a boot. <laughs> Holy crap, water is amazing when you're thirsty. Oh, that may as well be a chocolate milkshake. Oh, it's delicious. What'd you do at the beach today, Jamie? Unloaded some wood. Oh, that's a nice beach right there. All right, I'm gonna swim in after. Let's go park the boat. I wouldn't normally leave a bunch of wet boards sitting in the sun, but it's okay if these warp. I didn't even try to cut them that straight because they're going to be cut into strips and then bent anyway. 
so it's fine. It's fine to dry out kind of fast. I'm not gonna cut any of those today. It's too late. It's about three in the afternoon right now. I went out at eight, so it's seven hours to do all that. Well, I did also go by someone's house to pick up some some pig, some pork pig, 10 pounds of pig. Uh, but other than that, I was just cutting and carrying all day. I think I have just enough time to go do some digging before dinner.